Hey guys, today I'm filming the intro for a brand new series called The Chopping Block. If you guys saw my most recent declutter video, which I will have linked up here, I mentioned that I was thinking about doing this series and from your feedback, you guys seemed very interested. So in that declutter video, I chose products I was 100% sure that I wanted to get rid of. But when I was going through my collection, there were a ton of products that I was unsure about. And usually if I'm unsure about a product, I'll end up keeping it, but then I still don't use it and it ends up going to waste. So I want to change that pattern, which is why I'm doing this series. So I have chosen a ton of products in my collection that I am on the fence about and I'm putting them on the chopping block, meaning that I'm going to retest all of these products and then I have to make a final decision whether I want to keep it or pass it along. Long. Today's video is just the intro. I have a ton of products. I'm just going to show them all to you. I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail about why I'm on the fence about them. If you have questions, you can just leave them in the comments down below. I plan on doing updates every two months. And in those updates, I will be showing you just the products that I have used within that time period and then make that final decision. I will also show you swatches in that video and go into more detail on my thoughts on those products because I'll have more time. But Unfortunately, I can't do that today. I have a good variety of products, but really like 60% of this is lip products. I am really, really particular about lip products. So I have a lot of products where the formula or mostly the color, I'm not so sure about. So let's just get started. The first two things I have are stick foundations. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I really like the coverage. The color of both of these is too dark for me and these aren't the best for oily skin or at least skin that is as oily as mine. And because I have other foundations in my collection that I like more, I figured these were going to sit around. I did just test out both of these foundations a few days ago and I've already decided that I will be passing these along to friends. So great start. I'm already getting rid of two things for the intro but everything else I'm still on the fence about. Next I have two cream eyeshadow sticks. I have the Milani Shadow Eyes in Sand Dunes, a really pretty taupe color but this has a little bit more glitter than I would like and it doesn't glide on the easiest. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow Crayon in Enduring Rose, a really pretty shade, a nice formula, but I have a ton of colors very similar to this, so I'm not sure if I need this one as well. I have one single eyeshadow. This is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. This was a free birthday gift from Ulta last year, and I am on the fence about this because of the shade. Champagne shades are really, really pretty and sort of universal. They look amazing on people with medium or tan skin tones because they are really metallic and really bright. But on fair skin tones like me, champagne shades just blend right in so they don't have as pretty of an effect and it just ends up being very natural on me. So I'm gonna try this out on the lid, try it out as a cheekbone highlighter and if I don't love it, I'm gonna give it to my mom because she loves champagne shades and she is a bit more tan than I am. Then I have three ColourPop eyeshadows, two mattes and one satin, which would definitely be my least favorite finish. I did end up keeping a few of them, but these are shades that I'm not so sure about. And I do have a couple friends that love these satin and matte finishes. So if they don't mind having some eyeshadows that I've already used a couple times, then I'll send these to them if I decide to get rid of them. I have Mittens, which is a warm brown. It is a satin finish. I have Hustle, which is a burgundy plum matte finish. I have Central Perk, which is a deep, deep burgundy, also a matte finish. Next, I actually have four palettes. The first one is the original Urban Decay Naked Basics. These colors are very basic. I have the same shades in other palettes and I don't reach for this very often, but it is good quality. Next, I have the Lorac Pro 2. I do not like the formula of Lorac Pro shadows, but I love these shades Light Brown and Nectar. I have the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette. Beautiful shades, but the metallics have so much fallout, it is just ridiculous. And lastly, I have the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette. This shade right here is my all-time favorite. I wish this was available in a single. This formula is similar to Lorac Pro. It is really powdery and it blends out to be very muddy. And everything else is lip products. I have two Steel Color Bomb lipsticks in L and Avery, a pinky coral and a light peachy pink. These lipsticks are pretty shades, but I don't know if I like these kind of colors on me anymore. And also these have a really, really thick 
feel to them. I have the Revlon Matte Balms in Elusive and Standout Pretty Shades. I used to wear these a little bit back in the day and I just don't reach for them anymore and I don't know if I need these. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Blushing Ambition. Fantastic formula, but this is a really, really bright pink. The product is way brighter than it looks in the packaging, so I was definitely let down by the color of this. I have two MAC lip glosses. I have Kiss and Don't Tell from the Archie's collection, and I have Red Blazer from the Simpsons collection. I love these for the packaging, and the colors are pretty, but MAC glosses are very sticky. I have two Lorac Alter Ego lip glosses in Dream Girl and Heartbreaker. These are really pigmented, a nice formula, but I don't know if I love these colors on me anymore. The Balm Meat Matte Hughes Lipstick in Committed. In my review, I told you guys that this just fades on me really quickly and it always remains a little bit sticky. The Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Lust. A pretty shade, but I don't know if this color is a must-have for me. All the rest of the lip products are from ColourPop. I love ColourPop lip products, but by trying these out, I've realized what formulas I like and what formulas I don't like. And unfortunately, even though I try to look up a ton of swatch pictures, swatch videos, even on people of my skin tone, a lot of times when I get these lip products, they look way different on me than they do online and on other people, and I never like them as well. So that's just something really disappointing for me, which is why I have so many ColourPop. Pop lip products. I have Freshman, which is a cream finish. Don't know if I love this color, and I also don't like the cream formula. Trust Me is a matte X finish, a really pretty bright red, but I never wear reds. Pop in a really bright magenta fuchsia hot pink with a matte X finish. Great formula, but I don't wear these kind of shades very often. Toucan is a red tone pink and a matte finish. Never really wear these kind of shades. Rocket is a satin finish. I'm iffy on the satin finishes and I don't know if I love this kind of color on me anymore. Bound is a glossy finish. I don't like these finishes and this shade is sometimes looks good, sometimes not so much. Corset is a hyper glossy finish, which I hate. The smell is really, really sickeningly sweet on the hyper glossy finishes. And I do have other purples that I like just as well. Then I have Juicy, a really pretty coral color, but this is also a hyper glossy finish and I cannot stand that scent. And I don't know if I really love corals as much as I used to. Brills is a satin finish light lilac lipstick. This is a little bit too light and unwearable. I have other purples that I prefer over this one. Lastly, I have Frida, which is a satin finish. This is the Coffee Break with Danny shade. This looks good on everyone, but I don't love it on me. This is a lip color that depends what makeup I'm wearing, and uh, I don't know, most of the time it just doesn't look good, which makes me very sad. Moving on to the ColourPop liquid lipsticks, I only have one ultra satin lip because I love this formula, but this shade I don't like. This is Mess Around. It is a gray tone tan nude. This is really, really gray on me, and I don't really know if I would ever wear this shade, but I do love this formula. All the rest of these are the ultra matte lips. I have some of the old formula and some of the new formula. The new formula I do not like near as well. So for all the shades in the new formula, it's because of the formula. But for all the shades in the old formula, it's because of the shade. I have More Better, which is in the new formula. I have Dona. It is in the old formula. This color shows up a lot more bright orangey on me. It isn't as muted or as pink as I would like. First Base is the old formula. It is a very, very pink shade. Not bad, but it isn't my favorite color of pink. Midi is the old formula. This is a really pretty light nude, but I do have other nudes I prefer over this one. Kapow is the old formula. This is very similar to Mess Around. It's just too gray tone on me. Looks beautiful on my friend Ami, but not so good on me. Chili Chili is the new formula. This is a very strange terracotta, deep terracotta mixed with a brown shade. So it's the formula and also this color looks kind of strange on me. Shimmy is the old formula and it is a really light pink. This one I'm leaning more towards keeping, but we'll see when I actually use it. I have Beeper, which is the old formula. I used this in a recent tutorial and loved it, but I really have only liked this lip color in that makeup look and not any other time. Again, this looks amazing on my friend Ami, but not so hot on me. Bad Habit, which is in the new formula. 
Stingray, which is in the nude formula, and this one also looks a lot more brown on my lips than it does in the tube. So guys, that was the intro for my brand new chopping block series. Please make sure you are subscribed so you will see my updates every two months where I will test out these products and let you know for a final decision whether I am going to keep them or pass them along. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found that it was somewhat interesting and maybe helpful. Who knows? But thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.